This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for FIRST teams. Over 80% of US engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com FIRST to register your team. FRC Premiere Night is back on Saturday, February 25th. Submit a unique video showcasing your team's charged up robot progress by Thursday, February 23rd at First Updates Now slash Premiere 23. Premiere Night is a great way to engage with the community. Get more information and submit your video at firstupdatesnow.com slash Premiere 23. And welcome into the opening line show. Welcome back. 1466 Web Robotics coming out of Knoxville, uh, Tennessee. You saw this team in week one, a very popular team we had uh, from week one showing off uh, the robot. And we're going to be uh, checking back in uh, with uh, Nicholas and Emily. And I think Nathan, too, will be joining in talking about uh, their uh, – uh, progress so far going into version two of the robot uh, talking about uh, their intake and possibly some auto as well so uh, Nicholas and Emily welcome back if you don't mind can you just remind everybody uh, what you do on the team and then we'll jump right into your robots progress yeah no problem I'm Nicholas I'm the content lead on the team this year I'm Emily and I'm the build project lead so uh, fill us in it's been uh, three short weeks since we've seen you uh, so far but uh, uh, looking at uh, your bill log post on uh, Chief Delphi lots of great progress going on with your team so uh, fill us in on where you're at right now and uh, what's been going well and what hasn't so much as well too for your team yeah I mean three short weeks but three extremely productive weeks we have a v1 robot on schedule which is huge for us we are have been super efficient sticking to our deadlines that we set before the season even began and we have a robot sitting behind us that can drive, so we're super proud of that. So we've been deciding on which prototypes to put on the robot, and we currently have one of them on the robot, although in our V2 robot, we are hopefully going to switch to rollers instead. Yeah, we may or may not switch to rollers. We're still going to do some testing. Our current roller mechanism is based on an everybot design shown here. Um, we took some inspiration from some other teams like 1757, 3161, and 3847. We've looked at those teams, their build logs, um, their successes and failures. But we have this intake that we are going to test. We haven't had a lot of time to mess with it just because we're trying to finish the entire robot, make sure we got it driving. But currently, we have a claw mechanism that we mentioned in week one of the OA show. And we've got it working. We're planning on improving that which we'll show in a few minutes, but it's on the robot. One thing I want to ask you guys, I mean, you talk about the, the claw right there, but I remember very vividly the uh, Gary the Snail intake from uh, uh, week well, one on your team, and I know that's not going to make it on your robot, but are we going to do any theming around the claw for, like, Mr. Krabs or anything? Oh, thanks for the idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> um, it's, uh, that uh, idea has been recorded and will now be seen by hundreds of people. Perfect. So we're probably going to take it into consideration. <laughs> that's a good idea. We haven't thought about that one yet. So was, was there anything with the Gary the Snail intake that inspired you? You said, oh, right, when I mentioned that one. <laughs> I mean, Tyler, you see Gary the Snail behind them, right, with googly eyes? Oh, my you goodness, see? I didn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, um, they didn't. They weren't. They weren't no, nobody sleeps on Gary the Snail, right? <laughs> Absolutely not. There has been, like, a rest in peace Gary posted on a uh, video posted on YouTube. But, I mean, Gary is still alive in our hearts. So, and, so. and he'll hopefully be going on our practice robot. Perfect. Yes. That means you – these, these are the important check-ins. Oh, absolutely. We have a, we've got our Rev 2.0 control systems, and we will be wiring our robots with those. We have yet to use the system. We're very excited about using them. So we got a grant that allowed us to get them because we originally weren't necessarily planning on fully switching this year, but we now that we've got that grant, we're planning on switching to that control system, which we're going to install soon. So we're just waiting on the mini power modules. So as you look into your uh, V2 robot uh, that you're looking at, at doing, where is that progress at so far? I mean, versus your V1 going into it, like how far along are you on V2 currently? We have, we're about to start going there. So we recently have figured out some of the issues on our V1 robot, which I'm sure we will show you later. So we are currently just gathering things that we should fix and improve to make that better. And I think we're working on CAD most of it. So some of the problems we've encountered is our chain. We're using number 25 chain and it's part of skipping right now. We've had some issues with that. We had it break yesterday. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, there it is. There's Gary. Um, 
yeah, we Gary will never die in our hearts. Uh, we have this. Uh, this is part of this is part of our chain chester that is just completely bent. Uh, if you can see that, because it broke, and we were we're working trying to improve that, maybe using some adjustable tensioners to make sure that system is consistent. That arm actually moves pretty fast, but we don't want it to fail in this mode competition. All right. So I think now we're gonna head over to the robot and we're gonna show you some of the pieces on the robot. Awesome. I feel like yeah. it's action news. Yeah, sorry. So this is our claw intake. It's a lot more sophisticated than the chopsticks we showed you three weeks ago. We've got this plywood. We're planning on reinforcing it with some carbon fiber to keep that system really light. Right now, the system is super light. We've got this Neo 550 on it. Everything here is really kind of maximizing the weight, which we're really considering, especially since this arm is extending out to mid to score on mid. Not planning on running it high currently. Um, we've got this. We've got this latex to hold this cone, and this single system can hold both game pieces. There's the cube, and remove this. And this system is currently not designed to score high. I don't think that is not one of the things we're considering in V2. I think we're just gonna. Be plan on making this system super efficient and consistent. Potentially in other iterations, we might consider making a higher scoring game. But really, our autonomous and our charge station points is something we're, we said we were going to focus on, and we're still really focused on this. Let's, uh, can, can, we, can we talk about that claw for just a, just a couple of seconds? Absolutely. Um, so, so explain to me what's going on there, because so it's, it's it looks like there's surgical tubing, but then like as you rotate the motor, it gets tighter. What what exactly is what, what's happening over there? I mean, um, it's just these these tubes serve to hold the cone really successfully, and the width of this curvature is great for the cone. We found this to be um, hold that cone pretty stable as we go in on it. Uh, we want this system this. Any, any um, some of the testing that we've done with this claw show that this Neo 550 is kind of slow, even with the gearing we've got on it. So we're planning on making that fast. Our arm is fast, but Gripper is not right now. So, so, so this is so it's a, it's, a, it's a geared claw that you're just running off of a gearbox there. Absolutely, yes, you okay. got that. I was, I was, I was openly a little confused, and I thought that you might be like rolling the surgical tubing up around that gearbox. No, 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 no. no. Like, it is like, stapled. But, uh, <laughs> but no, that's, that's very cool. I mean, I, I actually, I really dig it because like it, it does keep this really cool pressure as it goes around. That's a pretty neat mechanism. And then and you've got the, um, the virtual four bar um, for keeping it stable over the top. Yeah, I don't think we've posted any videos of this virtual four bar, but this arm, just in like the first test we did, stood still, which we're really happy about. So our PID is are you doing? Are you doing? So you're. Are you doing any sort of uh, counterbalance or springs or anything on it? Is it all in code and the motors? It's all in code and motors, if I'm not mistaken. And so this is the piece that's um, on the bot, like on the bottom of the claw. That is, you might be able to see it under there, but that's what's working. Ah, uh, okay. It's 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 all clear to me now. Um, but that's that's very cool. So it's a, so it's like a cam with a with a follower in there, and it just rotates 90 degrees to get that whole motion. Very cool. You got it. Greg, have you, have you seen a, a claw quite like that before? I That's definitely one of the most unique I've, ones I've seen. I've, I've seen some of this stuff like years and years ago yeah. where some people would do stuff like that. Um, it's almost like a steering linkage for like a, 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 a go-kart type of thing. But um, I haven't seen that recently, And uh, but it still works. And that is a heck of a lot lighter than the way most people are doing claws with like, you know, the two gears that are bolted to the actual pieces. So I, I totally like it, especially with them prioritizing uh, being light. Um, that seems effective, so. Yeah, absolutely. And so we're gonna talk a little bit more about our code because we haven't touched on that yet. Okay, so this year we switched to Java. We were using Lab, we've been using Labview for the past 
couple years, so we're switching to Java this year, which has made a lot of things a lot easier. So we are using a button board, which is currently connected to the computer. But so we're using this to assist the driver with the scoring modes, or the scoring nodes. And so one of the, it's all we have to do is press a button and it will hopefully auto align with the grids, which is gonna be very helpful for the drivers and hopefully make scoring a lot more efficient and easier. So we can show that in a minute whenever that is ready. Yeah, we're currently setting that up, yes. but that button board it's like a three by three grid. It's um, intent is to really make it super easy for the driver, which we, we've had a lot of open discussion with our drive team and with our fabrication team to make sure what we're building is intuitive and is easy to drive. So with the with the button box, right, I'm assuming you're going to have like different positions at each one of the different buttons that you push. Um, and, and we asked this to another team earlier tonight as well, but like what happens if uh, that goes wrong, like during the match. Do you have manual control of the arm also, or is it just yeah, all we'll, or nothing? We'll have manual control, but this will just make it easier. So if that does go wrong, obviously the driver will be able to control it manually, um, but that will hopefully work. So. And and what what are you using on the inside of that button board? So it looks like it's totally custom on the outside, but what's what's the electronics on the inside? It's actually not custom. We ordered it from a website that we found, but yeah, so it's not custom. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised more teams aren't just using like a stream deck or something like that. Like at this, it's almost like the exact, you know, essentially the exact same thing you could do. Plus, you know, it's got new Microsoft Teams ability, so you can put emojis on the robot and stuff, right? <laughs> I know a team that used the a, like a DJ panel uh, two oh, yeah. years ago, and it's all about uh, the drivers and if it actually works well. To, to integrate to. It's a, it's a cool idea. 1460 has had, has had some cool controllers, so we're, we're not close to the idea at all. No, no. I so, remember the, the, the day of like the most creative thing out there was like a teams would rock out with like a Guitar Hero guitar controller. Hero, yeah. Yeah. That's, totally that's, big that's big. still like my favorite. That's good. Love that. We also are doing some auto balancing. So we're using the gyroscope on the, so and we're using that gyroscope to balance it so that all we have to do again is press a button and in theory it will balance correctly although i think we're having some gyroscope troubles right now so i'm not sure we'll be able to show that to you today but. Okay. No so worries. that's a, that's an interesting question about using the gyroscope so that that's here you're going to use that gyro for auto balance during autonomous or do you think you're going to do that during the end of the match also both. For, both, yeah. for both so that way we can guarantee that we are in that little that angle or very specific angle so how do you how do you plan and, and and I'm I'm how do you plan on doing that with like other teams that are up there right so like as they move you're going to automatically move what is what's the how do you think that that's going to work out? So we're just we're gonna our plan is to just go up there and I mean we don't really know how it works because we've never tried it with another team yet but we're ideally going to go to the side of that so that we can like kind of hang off the edge and we're in theory and bounce in the middle. And that way we can hopefully be able to fit three robots onto that if there was robots. Our robot off. can hang off the edge and we have done, we'd like to have do some more testing with like other things on. We probably would talk with drivers and make sure their robots are still, we still have yet to do, but right now we're really focusing on auto, making sure we have those points and video footage is on YouTube showing some testing we've done already. I know you guys said you haven't had a chance to test with our teams, but I have talked to a couple others, and I know uh, a couple of them actually said they thought it was easier to balance once another robot was up uh, onto the uh, uh, switch anyway. So it'll be interesting to see as your team gets that opportunity to see how that works with uh, both your auto balance or even if it needs to go over to driver control too on how that's going to work out. Um, I, I don't know because I haven't seen it personally, but it's been interesting to hear uh, some people from the community talk about their experiences so far with it. Have, and, and the other the other one that that's interesting on the uh, auto balancing, and I wonder if you can do it with your arm. Is you know, are you just going to plan to use the drivetrain to, to move the center of gravity, or are any arm moves going to come into play for that as well? Right now, we're just moving the drivetrain because we haven't our code isn't fully complete on how to on using the arm, and it's also not fully wired. So that is a possibility that we are open to in the future. But right now, it's just the drivetrain. Also, I don't know if our, oh, go ahead, Greg. I don't know if our coping has considered that, but that is potentially an option if we need that weight shifted. It is something that could get damaged 
um, which we hope to build a road strong enough to take damage, but not necessarily risking that arm movement. And then Nathan should be ready to show us some of the driving. All right, yeah, let's take a look. So this is the robot when we autonomously make it go to the scoring node and it'll be driver assisted with the bottom box. So Nathan, go ahead. So this is essentially what it is doing and it will line itself up with each node on the three different sections. Right now we're only testing it on one section, but we'll be able to do all three with the same method using the April tags because the robot will be able to identify which uh, which um, section is that. So currently we're about to show the robot moving with the assistance of our button box. It can move to either of the three columns of the nodes and we will eventually have this lined up so it can go up to any of the three grids and align itself up using the April tags. So Web Robotics, thank you so much for uh, showing off your, your progress on there. Really cool to see uh, all that progress been made from week one into week four. Uh, and of course, uh, with your events coming up, can't wait to see where you get. You, get, uh, you guys don't compete till week five, so lots of time to uh, do some cool implementations. But I uh, wish you the best, and I can't wait to check in with your team. Make sure you check out Web Robotics and their uh, build blogs on, uh, of course, the OA Discord and on Cheat Delphi. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, guys. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SOLIDWORKS is free for first teams. Over 80% of US engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SOLIDWORKS to design great products. SOLIDWORKS can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first to register your team. FRC Premiere Night is back on Saturday, February 25th. Submit a unique video showcasing your team's charged up robot progress by Thursday, February 23rd at First Updates Now slash Premiere 23. Premiere Night is a great way to engage with the community. Get more information and submit your video at firstupdatesnow.com slash Premiere 23. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.